giving out on the glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rahakodash. Double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Peace, love, and salutation to the hopeful elect, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, teaching in all truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Lord willingness to edifying, straight to the point. It's the book of Ezekiel 13 and 2. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirits and have seen nothing. Verse 8. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore, behold, I am against thee, said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writings of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. It's the book of Jeremiah 17 and 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shah. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shah of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said Yahweh by Shem Shah. Verse 20. The anger of Yahweh by Hashem Shah shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they speak. Us like yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, and had caused my people to hear my word, then they should have turned uh, them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Chapter 4 and verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. So if you have the Spirit of God, come on. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh is of God. So what was, what was Jesus Christ's nationality? The Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Congratulations, you have the spirit of God. Now you have to operate and walk in that spirit. Read the next verse. Verse 3. And every spirit that confess of not that Jesus Christ is come of the flesh is not of God. That means you're the spirit of Satan. You got the devil on you. You have the mark of the beast on you. You have the mark of the beast on you. You have the mark of the beast on you. In doctrine, you believe in man's philosophy and then what happens is people try to snake their way through it all the time sure it ain't some 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 little boy with three sixes in his head you have heard that it should come oh whereof you have heard that it should come come on and even now already is in the world oh stop now if you folks online don't understand this statement you have heard that it should come and even now already is in the world that shows you right now we still have a chance grace to repent verse 16 and it calls all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads so a lot of times people always go into the chip i'll never see nobody talking about the chip in their foreheads so the latest startup is called Neuralink, which focuses on the goal of implanting chips into human brains and also connecting brains to computers. Here's what Elon Musk said at a conference in California of invasive surgery. So Thornton, I'm sure that means you'll be getting one soon. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a few <laughs> for the kid. If somebody put a chip, no. The, this mark is, in, is you being in agreements with the sin. Period, you're in agreements with it. Now, 
because if that's the case, let's go to Psalms 37 and verse 37. Go Psalms. Chapter 37 and verse 37. Mark the perfect man. What the Bible say? Mark the perfect man. Where's that mark at? Mark the perfect man. Come on. And behold, the upright. That man is peace. Because when you read in Ezekiel 9 and 4, the most high said, set a mark upon the men that sign cry. The mark is given that understanding.